Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. This isn't the normal place where I record my videos, but as you can see, my camera is pointed at my oven here in my kitchen. The reason being in August, early August, I believe, my oven died. So I haven't had an oven since August. And of course, this is now December 1st. We just got this installed two days ago. They were supposed to install it last Wednesday, which was the Wednesday before Thanksgiving here in the United States. And of course, being the day before Thanksgiving, they decided to call out sick. So I didn't have an oven for Thanksgiving. So I thought I would do a video kind of showing the features, do a little bit of a review. Uh, this is the GE Profile 27 inch double wall oven. One of the features that came with it, of course, it's a, it's a full double oven, upper and lower. The upper oven also has a feature that once I connected to the internet, I was able to unlock it. And that feature is it, it also has the ability to become an air fryer. So it's a, a regular full double oven, full double oven with convection, and the top oven has an air fryer. So this is what it looks like. You can see the inside here. The bottom rack is on a roller which they gave me oil for. If the rollers stop rolling, I can use this oil to loosen it up a little bit. The, the racks are a little bit stiff to begin with, but that will loosen up, I'm sure, over time. I guess I could put a little bit of this oil on that, but that's liable to, to cook away. One thing that I, that I had to do for the first couple of, well, first several hours after I got the ovens was run it on I believe it was 450 for a few hours to burn off the oils and things from manufacturing, which gave off a really bad smell. But that's been taken care of now, and that's why I haven't really had a chance to cook anything with it yet, because of that, that oil and the smoke that would, would come out of it because of the oil that needs to be burned off. Taking a look at some of the features here, of course it's a touch screen. So you have the upper and the lower controls. You hit upper for the upper oven bake, broil, convection, precision cooking. I haven't really looked into what some of these mean or what they do or how I might use them. You can see for baked goods for meat or for potatoes, baked goods for biscuits or scones, cakes and cookies, meat, chicken wings, potatoes, french fries or frozen potato tots. You have your air fry mode and you can set the temperatures all the way up to 500 degrees, all the way down to 300 degrees. Convection, bake, bake multi-rack or roast. And you got your temperature settings. Broil, high and low. And of course bake. For more, we've got warm if you want to put something in to keep it warm. Proof, which I believe, of course, like you see on the little wallpaper here, would be for baking breads or other, other goods that need to be proofed. Self-clean and steam clean. With the steam clean, from what I've read, the little bit that I've read, the steam clean, you just put some water in the bottom of the oven, put it on steam clean, and it will clean with the steam produced from the water that you've put in there. And then the lower oven has basically the same features, but it does not have the air fryer. Bake, broil, warm, proof, self-clean, and steam clean. And then you've got your different settings to set the clock, how loud the sounds are, your display settings, cooking settings, which includes your upper and lower oven temperature settings. Now, one of the first things that I did when I got the oven was I took an oven thermometer and I put it in the oven and I turned it on and I wanted to see what the temperature was. Said I set it for 500 or 550 degrees, I don't remember, and I put the oven thermometer in there to see if the oven was calibrated properly and it was not. As you might be able to see here on the screen, I've got the upper oven set 15 degrees lower than the factory setting and the bottom oven 17 degrees lower because that's how far off it was. If I had put something in there to cook at 400 degrees in the top oven, it would have actually been 
15 degrees hotter and the bottom oven 17 degrees hotter. So I had to turn that down a little bit. So very easy to do. That's in your settings. You just hit the little gear in the upper corner and that gets you into your settings. And to calibrate it, you go into cooking and it's there for your adjust temperature upper and lower. Of course, you go through your Wi-Fi remote, Wi-Fi and remote setup and you can set your various wallpapers and it'll scroll through them and I just selected a bunch of them that, and this picture here on the display will scroll through these wallpapers which is nice it's nice to have those pictures there it's got set settings for weather your location and various other settings things I probably won't use you can change your the brightness of the display high medium low so there's a lot of features here turn your lights on in the upper and the lower with the same button there set a timer for however long you want the timer to go. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and set the upper and the lower ovens at the same time to bake at 400 degrees and we'll see how long it takes to get up to temperature. Okay, that's the upper oven. To get to the lower oven, you push where it says here in the bottom, you push to the lower oven. Okay, that's the upper oven and we'll see just how long it takes for it to go from cold to 400 degrees. Well, as you can see, both ovens have reached 400 degrees at just about the same time. So that's how long it takes for it to preheat from a cold oven that's basically room temperature up to 400 degrees. And it took both the upper and the lower about the same amount of time. So that's the GE Profile 27-inch double oven. Thanks for watching, and I will see you around the channel.